week 34 of Name Them, where we attempt to name babies that were never allowed to be born or that were possibly miscarried. This week 34, I've ran out of things to explain, so I was just going to um, show another testimony from Save the Storks about a woman who chose to keep her baby. So after the Save the Storks interview, we'll name some more names. Thank you. I didn't really like where my life was going, but I didn't really care at the time either. I was in and out of the bars, spending all my money that I made at work on drinks, getting drunk, doing stupid stuff. Then I had met the father of my child. I met him on Christmas Eve. It didn't last very long. He started to become really possessive and really angry with me. Like whenever I would just say no to him, he would just get really mad. I was like, we just need to break things off. We need to break up. This is not good for me at all. Probably a week or two later, I was at work and I felt really weird. So I went out later with my friend Amy. I was like, I feel pregnant. She was like, well, let's just go. Let's just go get a test, you know? After the bar, we went to the store and got a pregnancy test. And, you know, we're all laughing and giggling, going back to the house. You know, not a big deal or anything. I get to the house and I find out I was pregnant on her bathroom floor. And I was like, oh my God, my life has ended. I was not even able to take care of myself let alone a whole nother human being. All these things just hit me at once and I'm bawling my eyes out. You know, my friend's holding me. She's like, everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this. I just felt like when I found out, I just, I couldn't do it. I had no support system. I had no hope. I had nobody to talk to. And everyone that I would talk to, they would just judge me. And I was like, I, I don't know what to do. I had heard about Matrix from um, a coworker of mine and I called right away. I needed some type of support. I don't know what it was about her, but her and I just clicked. And so it was very easy to talk to her. She felt lonely, she felt lost. She did not know what to do. I told her everything. I just felt so comfortable. She sat there and she made eye contact with me. She listened, she never interrupted me. She looked at me and she's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I could do an abortion, but she's like, I feel like that is my only option. I missed the cutoff to get an abortion, so I had to go to Chicago. I called the center there and made an appointment. Leading up to it, I just kept thinking, I can't imagine going to sleep and waking up and knowing that my boy wasn't gonna be in there. She was about 12 weeks in her pregnancy that she had called asking to have an ultrasound and that she had an appointment at Planned Parenthood. I was like, yeah, I was like, we'll go ahead and we have a spot open, like we can get you in on our stork bus. It was amazing. It's like a whole new light came into my life. I still remember this day, my heart got so warm in my chest and I felt these tingles and I was like, oh my God, there he is. The ultrasound could not have gone better. And at that point, I could see a complete change in her because she had wavered on abortion versus adopting. Going on the bus and seeing him, it completely turned my life around, like a whole 180. I started doing my prenatal care. I quit smoking, I quit drinking, I started eating healthy, I started exercising more. I got a new job. Things were finally starting to look up. That change in her, it was so amazing. And like, you just knew God had his hand on her that day. I was induced um, October 5th, and I had him the following morning, October 6th at 6.52 a.m. I fell in love for the first time in my whole life. I felt him, and he just clung on to me and held on to me, and oh, it was the best feeling in the whole world. She is an amazing mom to Braxton. She would honestly do anything for that kid. He's such a great kid. He's amazing. He amazes me every single day. That's my best friend. We do everything together. We go on walks. We play. He is the best thing that I could ever have in my life, hands down. Teresa Anna May, Shahadi Fatima, Noel Richard Lawrence, Tamiqua Chandra, Kerrigan Scott, Leslie Melody, Shannon Eloise, Martin Gimmel, 
Nanat Parshel, Marshall Avender, Felipe Xavier, Lester Hermanes, Lenore Miza, Greta Villana, Naya Halen, Forrest Vincent, Labellia Madison, Addison Bethany, Adam Christopher, Manus Harvell, Luigi Wolfric, Newt Ginger, Natasha Anastasia, Corbin Archer, Hubai Sinjin, Boris Samuel, Lalissa Miriam, Igbo Shangrut, Solus Ivory, Amy Lynn, Leticia Mina, Sheena Dolores, Michelle Winona, Ribi Ilya, Ilya Nancy, Karen Kristen, Heather Crystal, Sheila Anella, Dylan Lance, Freya Helen, Norbert Lisson, Lucilia Nama, Marcy Adelia, Amelia Sati, Fern Robin, Kevin Carter, Katrina Christina Ann, Jolie Eliza Beth, Charlotte Varia, Rashid Darnell, Patricia Deidre, Ossifield Winston, Tamara Winnefeld, Sharkura Valencia, Molina Wilma, Stacy Danielle, Dina Lolis, Laura Lorraine, Lindley Winna, Grace Alicia, Justin Liam, Bella Donna Sweet, Kirk Godley, Harlequin Amarissa, Hadassah Hadi Tamani, Thomas Tommy Harold Roger, Lyndon Daniel, Dora May, and Dora Ashley, Selma Tracy, Gorda Lamenta, Oni Alberta, Columbia Liberté, Charles Dugal, Nickel Colton, Shiree Labella, Simone Petra, Jason Quinton, Deborah Gillian, Julia Ava, Rowan Willow, Oaken Trevor, Bricia Olivet, Lindsay Katrina, August George Avery, Norma Irene, Sally Josephine, Helmut Wolfric, Cassandra Eileen, Emily Verdi, Juniper Sheedy, Apple Carson, Olympia Giselle, Marie Marcy, Charity Orlean, Ivy Lillian, Akira Tetsuo, Giovanni Arturo, Lemmy Nora, Joey Melissa, Yaluli Daisy May, Barbara Selena, Ridison Nelly, Diana Rivka, Anthony Bella, Curtis Paul, Elena Laney April, 
Chloe Eterna, Tina Shayla, Everett Bryan, Molina Vivian, Vitria Adelaide, Denise Beatrix, Nova Adria, Charlize Peony, Whitney Marva, Winston Scott, Dana Eliza May, Arami Hada. Thank you for watching week 34 of Name Them. God bless.